Today on MTG Unpacked, it's finally time to take a look at the Secret Lair Summer Super Drop. So I ordered this all the way back in June 1st, 2020. So it's been about four and a half months at the time of filming for this to finally arrive. So it was going for about 180 bucks for all five boxes here. And if you ordered that, I think you got a bit of a discount on the shipping. And you also get a ultimate bonus card. So this is actually a fetch land of some kind. Don't know what it is, but we will check it out later. All right, so what do we have here? We've got Mountain Go, the path not traveled. Uh, full sleeves, the tattoo pack. That one should be pretty cool. Can you fill with a heart of steel? And ornithological studies. Okay, so let's do them in this order. So we'll start off with Mountain Go, and now I'm struggling to remember uh, exactly what was in these. So this one, I think there was a lightning bolt, if memory serves. So let's crack it open. And the funny thing about this, I was waiting four and a half months, and I actually ordered within two minutes of it going on sale, so I'm not sure why it took so long. Leave a note in the comments if yours arrived sooner. Okay, so Mountain Go, and the typical layout here, and there should be a special foil in the bottom, so let's carefully remove that. Stuck down with some goop, whoop, nearly spoiled it. Okay, so pop that over there. So what do we have here? Yes, of course, lightning bolt. Alright. So let's chuck that aside and really soak up the artwork here. So we have a foil lightning bolt. Very nice. Instant for a single red lightning bolt. Deals three damage to any target. Checking for card damage. Does not appear to be damaged. We got a bit of mild Pringle effect there, but not as bad as some I've seen. Okay, so that's pretty nice artwork. So that's done by a notorious artist. We won't mention his name. Okay, another lightning bolt. So this one does 3 damage to any target, of course. Same as the last one. Let's move that lighting across here. There we go. Really make it pop. So this is Bridget Roker. Very nice. Another lightning bolt. Okay, what a surprise. So this one by Robbie Trevino. And I think there's one more lightning bolt here done by Alexis Zirit. So let's see, I think... Uh, this one's probably my favourite. So there were four cards. Okay. So that is the first one. So what did we get in here? So they usually include this little bonus and it's a foil planeswalker of some description unless they've changed things. Okay, so that makes sense. Rao Storm Conduit. So legendary planeswalker Rao, four loyalty for four. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Rao Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker, plus two, scry one, minus two, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell you may choose. New targets for the copy. Very nice. Okay, moving on. The path not travelled. And I have no idea what this is, but it must have been cool enough for me to order it. And did you order any of these? Which ones did you get? Well, leave a note in the comments. Okay, so I'll just rip off that stuff. So we've got the embossed title on the side there. Ah, very cool. Planeswalkers, good to see. I think they're like alternate Planeswalkers, and I think that's the one with the silly um, Domri, if I remember correctly. Okay, so get that out of the way, and let's take a look here, if I can get this open. So we've got Ajani on the top there. I don't want you getting in here easily. Okay, very carefully. All right. So let's see. We've got Ajani Steadfast. Very nice. Looks like a member of the Avengers or something. Very futuristic. It's a mythic. 
Okay, very nice. Let's move on to the next one. Domri Raid. Okay, Domri as a cowboy riding one of his piggies. That is a bit silly, but you know, it's all about experimentation with the secret lair. And Tamio Field Researcher, a bit of a film noir look there. Another mythic. And Vraska Golgari Queen. So, yep, just four. So let's have a quick look at the card quality. Oh dear. Okay, so that looks good. That looks good. So the Tamio. I'm not sure if this will come out. We've got some scratches on there. Not even sure if that will show up. They're like down the side there. Okay. So a bit of mild pringling as well. Moving on to the stained glass plane broker. So who do we have here? It's probably... Actually, I have no idea. It is... Oh, okay. A Johnny the Great Hearted. Fair enough. So I'm not sure. I think I might already have that guy. Okay, set him aside. Next one. This is probably, I would say... Favourite or second favourite? I think I know the mountain one I thought might have been best, but maybe not. Let's see what we got in here. I can't make up my mind, honestly. I think that's why I bought all of them, plus we got the uh, Fetchland thrown in. Okay, so full sleeves, the tattoo pack. And if you've missed any of the other secret layer videos on the channel, I'll pop a link in the corner to the complete playlist. So I think we've got most of those there at this stage, including the Ultimate Edition. I'm going to have to pop this out of here. Uh, yeah, the Ultimate Edition, that was sort of ridiculous. Huge amount of packaging. And it was uh, just for five of the fetch lands. Okay, so let's get in here, look at the tattoos. I thought this was an interesting idea. So carefully remove like so. Alright, so what do we have here? So we have spell pierce. Okay, so these are non-foil. So instant for a single blue counter target non-creature spell unless it's control up pays two. Very cool. This guy uh, looks like a bit of a mage. Blood Artist! Nice! Creature Vampire 0-1 for 2. Whenever Blood Artist or another creature dies, target player loses 1 life and you gain 1 life. You might have noticed I'm not popping up the prices for anything because I think they're all over the place at this point. Eternal Witness! This is pretty cool. Creature Human Shaman 2-1 for 3. So when it enters bad food, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Pithing Needle. Artifact for one. As it enters the battlefield, choose a card name. Activate abilities of source with the chosen name. Can't be activated unless some mana abilities. And one more here. I think that's it. Yep. Ink Moth Nexus. So it's a land. Tap to add colorless mana. Pay one. And it becomes a 1-1 Blink Moth. Artifact creature with flying. And in fact, until end of turn, it's still a land. So these are all very nice. Let's do a quick check of the card quality. Not seeing any issues. And notice... No Pringling here. Okay, so that really only affects the foils. Moving on to Can You Feel With A Heart Of Steel? But before I do that, I nearly forgot about the Stained Glass Planeswalker. Who did we get this time? I'm curious what other people got. If you got the same things I did, let me know. Okay, so Nissa Who Shakes The World. This is another one. I think I already have this. I'd have to go back and check the archives. Honestly, can't remember at this point. There's been so many of these secret lairs. Uh, the only ones I really missed were the uh, first ones. So I got the goblins and nothing else. Okay, can you feel with a heart of steel? So I'm expecting artifact creatures here. Okay, Artban Ravager, there we go. And yeah, this is just loose. I hope that's not a bad sign. So pop that back in there. And actually I think this guy might even be in some of our Chaos videos. We're going through the Kaladesh uh, inventions. So if you've missed that, check out the more recent videos on the playlist up here. Okay, so we have Arcbound Ravager. 
Artifact Creature Beast 0, zero for 2. Second Artifact put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Outbound Ravager Modular 1. Okay, so chip card quality looks decent actually. And these, these are a little straighter I think. So that's curious. Maybe there's less cards here. Dark Steel Colossus 11, 11 for 11. Artifact Creature Golem. That's pretty crazy. It has Trample ind Indestructible, and if it would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, reveal it and shuffle it into its owner's library instead. Okay, and Walking Ballista! Nice! Looks like a Transformer here, 0, zero for X and X. Enter the battlefield with X, plus one, plus one counters on it. To pay four, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And if you remove a plus one, plus one counter, it deals one damage to any target. That's it, okay, so that's why there's not as much Pringling there. So only three. We do have a bit of a scratch on this one down here. But otherwise... Oh, the Dark Steel Colossus as well. A little disappointing. Yep, there you go, I think you can see that. Okay, so what did we get for the Planeswalker? Spoiler, I think I just revealed it. There's probably not too many it could be, actually, other than Khan, the Great Creator. Yes! Good to see you, Khan. All right, so Khan there. And finally, Ornithological Studies. So we've got a bunch of birds. And uh, let's see, Bird of Paradise, I'm guessing, would be one of these. Uh, who else? Honestly, can't remember. River Hoopo, maybe? I don't know. Let's check it out. Ornithological Studies. And let's grab a card from the bottom, like so. Set that aside. And digging in here. Okay, so... Starting off here, we have Swan Song, and none of these are foil, so we shouldn't have any damage or any uh, Pringle effect. Looks pretty good. So we've got Swan Song, Birds of Paradise, here we go. Zero one for a single green, Critch Bird flying, tap to add one mana of any colour. Gilded Goose, okay, this is a fun one. This is a more recent card, reprinted already in the Secret Lair. Baleful Strix, Artifact Creature Bird, 1-1 one, one for 2, Flying a Death Touch, and when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. And one more here, yep, Dovescape. What is this enchantment for 6? Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, counter that spell. That player creates an X, or creates X, 1-1 one, one, white and blue bird creature tokens with flying, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Alright. So, there we go. And let's dig in here to the Planeswalker. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And we will check out the fetch lane momentarily. Oh, of course. Ugin the Ineffable. All right. Okay, so how's he looking? He's looking pretty good. A little bit of uh, bending there. I hope it's not uh, damaged. No, okay. So, the moment you've been waiting for, which of the fetch lands will we get? It's probably a little anticlimactic because I already got them from the Ultimate Edition, but whatever. So, let's get in here, see if I can. Oh, goes that way. Okay. I think. From what I remember, these are non-foil as well. So, what is it going to be? Let's check it out. It is Scolding Tarn. Nice. Land. Tap. Pay one life. Sack it. Search your library for an instant or mountain card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Fantastic artwork here from Adam Packett. All right. Okay, so there we have it. Let me know what you think of this secret layer. Did you pick it up? Did you actually get it sooner than four and a half months? I'm curious. And I'm actually waiting for another five secret layers. So hopefully not waiting quite as long. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.